Hey, Sub Furies! The Avatar world is soaked in mythology and mysticism and spirituality, but we don't actually know that much about its history, its origins, its creation myth. Now, the Avatar world can broadly be split up into three eras the era of the Avatar, the era of Rava, and the before the era of Rava. We don't actually have a name for it, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to call it the beginning era. Who created the world and how was it created? Let's get started. So like ancient history, we actually know very few things about the beginning era, but we do know some things. Rava explains to Avatar 1, Since the beginning of time, we have battled over the fate of this world. And for the past 10,000 years, I have kept darkness under control and the world in balance. And later in the fight against Avatar 1, Vatu goes on and says, it was I who broke through the divide that separated the plane of spirits from the material world. So these are the two defining things that we know about the beginning era. Number one, Vatu and Rava were constantly fighting with one another, struggling for the fate of the world. And number two, the mortal and the spirit realms were separate until Vatu broke down the barriers between them. But the show actually implies that there were very few spirits at this point when he broke down the barriers to even cross over to the mortal world. We know that the moon and ocean spirits, uh, Twi and La, were definitely there, as well as Ko the Face Stealer, who we never saw again, and I am really annoyed because he was a great character, and he even said, We'll meet again. Okay, rant over. But Ko was the only one old enough to remember. Finally, another spirit that we meet in the search is the Mother of Faces, and we know that she was there because, well, she is the mother of Ko the Face Stealer. Talk about having a horrible child. Now, each of these spirits that we know were around in the beginning era are ancient and powerful, but they're unlike any of the rest of the spirits that we tend to meet. It's well established in the Avatar world that spirits embody physical things like forests and lakes in the mortal realm. Oh, and on a side note, I have this really awesome theory about how spirits reproduce, so somebody remind me to make that video. Like we know that Hei Bai represents the forest outside Senlin village, while Wan Shi Tong probably represents something like knowledge and discovery. Younger spirits tend to represent and protect smaller things, like the Ai Ai spirit protects the spirit oasis. But the older, more ancient spirits that we talked about tend to uh, represent and embody far bigger, far more important things and fundamental forces to the universe. Twi and La are described as Twi and La push and pull and that has been the nature of a relationship for all time. They balance each other, push and pull, life and death, good and evil, yin and yang. While Rava and Vatu are He is the force of darkness and chaos. I am the force of light and peace. And the Mother of Faces plays a pretty damn vital role in creation, giving every human and every spirit a face and identity. These are all incredibly important spirits and ideas to creation itself, so could they be part of some pantheon that worked together to create the universe? Avatar mythology is largely inspired by the Asiatic religions, most importantly in the central concept all throughout the series of needing balance in the universe. No wonder everyone in the Avatar world is so good at gymnastics. This balance idea is embodied in the principles of yin and yang, two equal but opposing forces, dependent but completely separate from one another, with both sides, like depicted here, having a little bit of the other side inside of them. In Chinese mythology, as well as Taoism and Confucianism, yin and yang were the two first forces that came from the chaos that gave birth to the universe. They were the first things in creation. And what description fits Vatu and Rava better? Two opposing forces constantly in conflict. Kinda like me and my sister. Perfect reflections of one another, but always fighting. He cannot destroy light any more than I can destroy darkness. One cannot exist without the other. Even if I defeat Vatu in this encounter, darkness will grow inside me until he emerges again. And how were Twi and La described again? Yin and Yang. Blah! 
And I thought that was it. The world was created by Rava and Vatu, who represented yin and yang after they came into existence. Well, no. See, I came across this clip in Beginnings Part 2. But to do so, Rava must hold the power for you until you master it. Ancient one, why would I do that for a human? Rava, supposedly the first being in all of creation, referring to a lion turtle as Ancient One. More than that, the Lion Turtle seems to hold some sort of authority over Rava, despite her being so ancient and powerful herself. It commands her to take the element of air for one until he's ready for it. Which is interesting for a being who has supposedly been around since the beginning of time. Unless Lion Turtles had been around since before then. What? Tim? You're making no sense. There's nothing before time. There would just be more time. Weird concept, I know, but hear me out. Both humans and spirits revere the lion turtles, like, like uniformly, all of them do. And I think I know why. They were before everything else. A kind of constant, omniscient kind of god. They're also one of the few creatures to hold bending abilities that aren't humans, and they not only have the power to give and take away certain bending abilities, but, you know, they are embodying and directly associated with a particular force of nature. Air, earth, water, and fire. Lion turtles being these primordial beings associated with the creation of the world is also pretty consistent with the world turtle motif that we see in a lot of uh, Eastern religions. In Hindu belief, the... Uh... I'm, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. They asked, why can the deity, referring to the god, in the form of a tortoise who possesses an inconceivable potency, an unimaginable power of sorts, not hold the earth in the sky for billions of years? They're talking about this world turtle holding up, supporting, creating the world. In Chinese mythology, the turtle Ao, I really hope I didn't pronounce that incorrectly, plays an incredibly vital role in the creation of the universe. And finally, Vishnu in the form of Kerma appears in the form of a tortoise or turtle and appears to support the foundation or structure of the cosmos, of space and time. Now, while not identical to these myths, it is clear that the lion turtle is inspired by it. And more than animals, more than spirits, more than humans, and older than anything else in the Avatar world, with powers unlike anything else in the world. They are impartial and neutral, and completely at balance within themselves. And them having complete balance within themselves is really important. Being so ancient and powerful, my theory is that the Lion Turtles created the Tree of Time. And they did that before anything else, which is also akin to the uh, World Tree that we see in a lot of mythologies. Like the Ashvata in Hindu belief, which can connects all of the world, like connecting the spirit and the mortal world, and embodies everything. And the Tree of Time was at the center of it all, between the spirit and mortal world. You can see it here, it's the place that they connect. This is the Tree of Time, and the legends say that its roots bind the spirit and physical worlds together. And creating the Tree of Time creates time itself, thereby allowing Rava and Vatu to come into existence. Because as beings, they had only been fighting since time began. And then slowly after that, the human and spirit worlds began to form. Interestingly, we can actually see some of the designs of Vatu and Rava on the backs of the lion turtle that uh, Avatar Aang meets in Sozin's Comet. Which I think implies that Rava and Vatu actually came out of the lion turtles. Not like they were born from them, but as embodiments of that uh, yin and yang force, they came out of the lion turtles, who were completely at balance within themselves. So, how was the Avatar world created? In the beginning, there was nothing. And then came the lion turtles, who were at complete balance within themselves, between their yin and yang. They then created the tree, and time began. As time began, the complete balance within the lion turtles split and created two halves, Rava and Vatu, who were to fight until time ended. The lion turtles then created the spirit world and mortal world, which came out of the tree of time, and the spirits came into being. First the moon and the ocean, and then the mother of faces. 
Then as forests and lakes and stars began to form in the mortal world, more spirits grew in the spirit world. And then eventually, humans came. I know, mind-boggling and a little confusing, but it's a creation myth. They're all meant to be like that, right? That's my theory about how the Avatar world came into existence. My question to you, Sulfuri, is, is how do you think that the Avatar world came into existence? What are your ideas and theories? Do you agree with mine? And if not, tell me why. In the meantime, I'd love for you to follow me on Facebook, Wattpad, Twitter, email me, send me stuff you have made at the links in the description below. Don't forget about the Subfury art competition. Stay nerdy, Subfury and I'll see you in the future. Oh, and on a side note, I'm kind of writing this fantasy novel at the moment. I've actually written it before, but I'm rewriting it and I'm, I'm just... Would you guys be interested in reading it at some point? It has dragons. It does have dragons. Let me know in the comments below.